Hi, everybody. Hope all is going well. I'm Mina, and today we're going through a short、uh, COVID recovery series.、Um, this is also good for anyone who's just been through some、uh, upper respiratory issues. So, any amount of coughing that is really、uh, taxing on the diaphragm, on the transverse abdominals, and obviously on the lungs. You can do this while you're still a bit sick. Maybe the fever's gone down and you feel, you know, a little bit weak, and you'd like to start moving your spine, start relieving some of those respiratory muscles. And、uh, you can do this sitting up in bed, you know, cross-legged. You can sit up on a little cushion to elevate your hips, or you can also do this seated on a chair.、Uh, so let's get started. Um, we'll start by just easily, slightly tapping our arms.、Uh, so the Long Meridian in Chinese, or traditional Chinese medicine, is going from the thumb to the clavicle, and along the front of the body. And so we're just gently tapping that area to stimulate, release, making a soft. Kitty cat, kitty, kitty cat fist. Nice, and then through the front of the body, just really nice and easy. And this might、uh, free up some phlegm, so that you might、uh, cough a little bit. Yeah, super easy through the front to the stomach and back up. Nice, and also also go through the other arm, outer and inner arm up to the thumb. And、keep on breathing easily as you do that. Nice. Then back through the center. Nice. And then let's gently release the lower ribs here. Soft strokes. Yeah, you might feel that it's a little bit、uh, tender. You might even have、uh, some strained muscles in the area of the diaphragm. Nice, and it's not that you're trying to massage them or force them to open up. It's more about、um, giving some gentle touch to the body, because that touch in itself, if it's soft and well intentioned, can be very healing. Nice. Okay, and then let's release that also through the chest, through the arms. <sighs> you might want to sigh. <sighs> Great. Wonderful. Let's bring the hands onto the thighs and move through a few gentle cat cows as you inhale, opening the heart, perhaps lifting the gaze a little bit, and exhale to round. And moving within the range of motion that feels good. You might feel quite stiff from just lying around in your bed all day for a few days. Inhaling to open the heart, exhaling to round, spreading the space between the shoulder blades. And all of these movements just just feel good. You're not trying to force your body to recover. You're just gently opening the pathways for more freedom of movement. Okay. And also allowing the lungs to breathe a little bit more fully. Nice, and then slowly coming back to center. I'm going to do some side bends from here, so you can just keep your right hand on your knee and the left hand onto the shoulder, and draw some circles. Well, bend a little bit over to the side, or you can also come down. With your elbow, that might give a little bit more space to the side of the body.、And、we're just going to inhale, lift the elbow, exhale, release down. Inhale and exhale. Exploring the range of motion here in your elbow. Maybe your elbow is drawing a circle, maybe an egg, maybe some a morph shape. Either way, just enjoying the circular movement. 
And every time you lift the elbow, there's a little bit more space in between the ribs, the side of your body, obliques, maybe even going into the QL, sort of the back muscles at the bottom. Good. From here, if you like, you can extend your arm. If going above the head is too much, you can also reach it forward. That might be enough of a stretch. Just reaching for a moment, grounding through your left sit bone. Nice. And then from here, you're just going to bend the elbow and clasp the back of the head with the hand. Just really easy. Good. And from here, you're going to rotate the spine a little bit. So as we inhale, we're just going to loop up a tiny bit, lifting the sternum up towards the sky in this case. And as you exhale, you're going to round a little bit, reaching the elbow back down. See how you can grab the head in a way that there's very, very little effort. Inhaling up, exhaling down. So we're flossing a little bit the muscles on the side of the body. And get into those strands and fascia that are not targeted if, if we go for a regular side bend. Always continuing to move with the breath, connecting the movement and the breathing. Nice. Inhale last time. Exhale to round. And then just release the head. Head hangs. We're going to go to the other side through center. Good. And then landing with your left elbow on your thigh or perhaps just your hand. Bringing the right hand onto the shoulder. Same thing on the other side. Inhale, elbow up. Exhale down. Circling. Inhale. Elbow forward and up. I feel it way more on the side. Inhale. Exhale. Just exploring the differences between the sides or the different movements and just observing them, allowing them to be and giving those sensations room for change in any way that that change might come. Wonderful. Next time as you inhale, perhaps reaching the arm up overhead. Or maybe it's a little bit more diagonally forward. And then bending that elbow. Lazy grab of the head. Nice. And let's uh, twist a little bit here. Inhale. Gently opening the heart up towards the sky. And exhale to round. Elbow going towards the earth. Inhale. Opening up. Sending the breath into the side body. And then exhale to round. If at any point any of this is too much, you can always take a little break. If it feels better, you can repeat it even longer. Just one more time. Inhale. And exhale this time, rounding forward. Release the arm. Come back through center. Easy roll up to come back to the middle. Great. I'm going to touch the thighs or massage the thighs in this fashion. So kind of going through the center and out. Our thighs can also, <laughs> when we cough, there's a, a lot of bringing everything into the center. So we're going to release here a little bit. Nice. And we're going to add a gentle twist. So as you push with the hand, start to twist your upper body. And then as you start to come around with the hand, press with the hand to twist to the other side. Tiny twist in the upper torso. If the arms are just confusing, you can just twist side to side. This is a really, really nice way to combine movement. 
You can keep on breathing freely. And you can do this as slowly or as fast as you like. I'm just gonna flow a little bit more. Good, and if there are spots that feel especially juicy, you can lean into them a little bit, keeping the breath fluid. Nice. A few more breaths. Good. And then slowly coming back to center. Wonderful. Let's uh, combine the breath with the movement as we bring the hands and the elbows together. So we inhale, we open up the elbows to cactus arms. And as we exhale, we round the back, bring the elbows and the hands together. So we're working the full long meridians, opening up through the inner arms and the chest. And as we exhale, we round. Mellows breathing, inhale. Open up elbows, squeezing the shoulder blades. Lift the gaze. And as you exhale, around. And again, moving within your range of motion. If the arms get tired, you can go back into a regular cat cow. Expanding the lung capacity bit by bit. Wonderful. Last round. Inhale, open. And exhale to close. Great. <clears throat> Excuse me, I saw a frog in my throat from that respiratory, uh, um, upper respiratory tract uh, virus that I've had, which inspired me to do this. Good. So bringing your hands onto your belly. We're going to move towards a more pranayama or breathing only section of this video after we've mobilized the spine, the upper body, create a little bit more space for the breath to move. So allowing the hands to just touch the belly, find a position for the hands where the shoulders, elbows, jaw is not doing anything. They're just hanging there. So breathing into the belly here through the nose and starting to observe the sensation of the fingers against your lower belly, skin of your lower belly. Noticing the pressure, the shape of the hands, perhaps the warmth, or maybe you have cold hands. Every time you inhale, there's a gentle inflating of the balloon that is your lower belly. The belly presses up against the fingers. And as you exhale, the balloon gently deflates and the fingers move towards the spine. Soft wave-like motions that are soothing. Perhaps the movement of the belly is getting bigger or more expansive. Or perhaps it is very hard for you to send the breath into the belly. Either way, but just bringing our awareness down into the lower portion of our torso and start to ground and calm ourselves. And the calmer we are, the more the parasympathetic nervous system is active, the easier time we have healing. Wonderful. It's like three more deep breaths into our belly. Two more. And last inhale. 
and exhale. Wonderful. Slowly release the hands. And um, as a last exercise, we're going to breathe a little bit more into our backs. Uh, so uh, if you like coming into child's pose or lying on your belly, you can do that. But I'm simply going to rest my hands down on the floor. If you're on a chair, you can come onto your elbows, perhaps. If that's available to you, you can widen your knees a little bit and just allow the elbows to drop and round forward a little bit. That's enough to create a little bit more space in the back body. Arms can be straight and then there's no effort in the arms. They're just straight and hanging. And this way I have a little bit more space in my back. I can start to allow the belly to hang a little bit. Sort of gravity is helping me to <laughs> Let the belly hang. I mean, whenever I inhale, whenever I exhale, I can gently pull the belly button towards the spine. So I'm continuing to breathe into my belly. But at the same time, I'm directing my awareness into my back body, allowing the area of my sacrum a triangular bone in between the sides of the hips. Just above that, the area of my kidneys in my middle to upper back. And then even between my shoulder blades. And every time I inhale, there's a little expansion of my back body. And every time I exhale, everything shrinks down gently to release the air out of my body. Continue to breathe here smoothly and calmly. Like you're trying to air out your back. Perhaps you've been lying on your back for a long time in the last few days, giving some love and aeration to that back part of your body. Very good. Let's take three more breaths here. Inhale. And exhaling to let it go. Inhaling, creating space, freshness. And exhale. Last round. Inhale, inviting the new. And exhale to let go of the old. Good. From here you can gently come to lying, to rest a little bit. Or you can simply sit here for a moment to integrate everything. And I'm going to say goodbye to you here in this moment. And I hope you enjoyed this little video. And I hope to see you soon.